Yeah, guys, uh, well, it will still look pretty empty. It's hard to believe it's been 350 days or thereabouts since there were fans in a, an arena. But, of course, Governor Cuomo clearing the way, saying that New York arenas could have 10 percent capacity. Now, that won't be the case here in Brooklyn, where they'll have about 300 fans for their soft opening. But check out the setup for those fans who do come in here. It will be a living room style setting with Barclays Center staff standing by, ready to get them their concessions. Of course, all this comes after plenty of testing at the door. The Brooklyn Nets paying for rapid tests for every fan that enters Barclays Center. In fact, even the staff and the media had to undergo testing, which we did as we entered today. And of course, once they're inside, there will be plenty of social distancing and masks are required for everyone. The Barclays Center staff will have polite signs reminding fans who get too involved in the game to please put their masks back on. Over at Madison Square Garden, it's a similar story, although they will have 2,000 fans for their first game, about 10% of their capacity at MSG. But regardless of how many people are in the arena, the players say they are just happy to be playing in front of crowds again. I can't wait. I'm excited. You know, that's one of the reasons why um, I wanted to you know, be you know, in Brooklyn is because of the fan base. Uh, they're unbelievable. Um, you know, they know the game of basketball and they're like you know, true, true fans. And, and Oh man, it'd be amazing. Um, you know, just to have, you know, fans back, uh, the amount we can have back and just to have their love and support. Uh, you know, it's definitely going to be, uh, you know, something that would be good to be a part of. And the Nets have three home games before the All-Star break. And at that time, they will try and hit that 10% capacity, which is about 1,800 fans here at Barclay Center. It all starts tonight when they take on the Kings. We will have, of course, highlights of that game coming up tonight on the PIX11 News at 10. For now, reporting live from Barclay Center, Joe Masiri, PIX11 News. Back to you guys.